step 46 to step it up because I got a hostile situation going on with the subject. And watch what happens. I get a pop up here. APCO P25. And I get health. And the health is very high, 98 to 100. And now you can start to see some action over here. You can see that the primary station is 853, 775. And these are all the frequencies that are available for it to trunk to. Now my screen is starting to look a little bit more like it did at the very, very beginning of the video series. But wait a minute. I can't hear anything. How come I can't hear anything? Well, that's where SDS Plus comes in. So... If I go to my folder with DSD Plus and I open it up and I run it, now you're going to see some stuff. I'm calling about two times. Caller was on the edge of getting a tag. It was passing cars on double yellow line and on bridges. You were counting clear. 1651. Check it out. Everything is now working. Let me set this up to where you can see a bunch of stuff at once. Okay, I'm going to try to uh, explain all this stuff as best I can. Um, but moving right along, we've talked about the we've talked about the receivers. I think at this point in the video series, you have a pretty good idea of, of what's going on in this box. This is another uni trunker window that's uh, letting you know what's going on, the status of both your fixed uh, and your scanners. Both of them are running. This window here is our DSD Plus um, showing the decryption of the voice when it comes through. And this box right here is pretty interesting as well because if you keep track of the group calls, you can keep up with who's talking to who because they'll end up being on the same group. I think what happens on the group calls is when the dispatcher's talking, it just says group call that. And then when people are responding to the dispatcher, it actually has an RID number associated with it. That's just a guess. I'm not 100% sure, but that seems to be the way it's working. This information right here in terms of the site is going to show our primary frequency right here, which is 853-775. That's the control or the primary. And this the rest of this information is actually showing all the different channels uh, that are part of this trunk. And the ones that are green are the ones that are being utilized right as of that particular second. And this is just more information about uh, the source and the target in terms of who's calling who. And um, what you can do is there's a bunch of tabs on this one. You can go to info, uh, which is just basically some overview information says that it's APCO P25. The channels tab is interesting because it tells you uh, within the trunk uh, how often each channel is being used and this has been running. Shows the number of times that each channel uh, has been used since I last uh, cleared them. Clear them here and they all go back to zero. Uh, call history which is the one we've seen. And I'm not sure what the band plan does, but the call history is really the most interesting one here. So looking at the utilization of the combination of DSD Plus and Unitrunker, uh, you can see that you've got a wide variety of capabilities in terms of being able to listen to a digital trunking scanner. I've been playing with this for several weeks now, and whether you decide to use a combination of Unitrunker and DSD Plus or whether you decide to use SDR Sharp, all of these softwares are fun to use and uh, will allow for hours of entertainment. So in conclusion, this pretty much wraps up my video series on uh, using SDR Sharp, DSD Plus, Unitrunker, and the virtual cable. I hope you enjoyed the series. Uh, if you did, please subscribe. I will continue to do many more uh, technology-based videos, car videos. Um, one of the things that I'm interested in pursuing is uh, replicating everything that you see here uh, in a Linux environment uh, utilizing a Raspberry Pi so that it would be a, a portable radio device. Well, thanks for watching the uh, video series. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned a lot. I hope it was beneficial to you in terms of getting you set up and started on a low-cost solution uh, to digital trunking scanners. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to uh, 
email me or, or pop a question in the uh, comments, and I'll be sure to answer. Uh, so anyhow, uh, this is Steve signing off, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Tip one, if you can be around 315 Blackburn Street, 315 Blackburn Street, had a neighbor call in for her neighbor. She's in disorder with her 13-year-old son, and he just threw a rock and busted the window in the vehicle.